Okay, so in the last video, we identified in this, <laughs> in this long expression, we identified all the common terms. So all these blocks, all right, those are all your linear terms, and those can all be combined. Uh, the little straight vertical lines, those are your constant terms, so you can combine those with each other. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to combine all of these like terms. So remember, they have to have the same variable and exponent. Right? Now, of all of these terms, the highest degree term are these third powers. So all the ones with the little horizontal line are what we're going to combine first. So to combine common terms, what you do is you focus in on the coefficients. So you have a positive 4 that can combine with this negative 4. And all we're doing is we're adding those. So 4 plus negative 4 is 0. So those will cancel out completely with each other. And then we'll focus in on the next ones. This is a negative 1. Don't forget about the little, you know, coefficient that's attached to it. Negative 1 plus positive 3. Well, negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. And then these variable parts and the exponents, they stay the exact same. So when you're adding like terms, the variables and exponents stay the same. All right, let's do it in standard form. So let's focus in there. Let me clear those out. You can cross these out if you want to, but it's up to you. Uh, next up are the quadratic terms so the, to the second power. We're looking at negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2. And then negative 2... Right there, negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3. And then positive 3 plus negative 1 is positive 2. So we have a positive 2 again for the quadratic term. Okay? So that was taking negative 3, ugh. Yeah, that was taking negative 3 plus 1. plus 5 minus 1, or plus negative 1. All right, next up is linear terms. So these are the little blocks that we've got. You'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them. So we've got negative 7. Let me write this out. Negative 7 plus 12 plus negative 1 plus negative 5 plus negative 3. All right, I'll just add all these up. Negative 7 plus 12, well, that's 5, plus negative 1 is 4, plus negative 5 is negative 1, plus negative 3 is negative 4. So we'll have a minus 4x for that part. All right, and then the last up are just going to be these regular numbers that we have. So we've got positive 8 plus negative 2, or just minus 2 if you want to write that, plus, ha, that looks bad. Let me erase that a little. All right, so I've got 8 plus negative 2, and then plus 7. Well, 8 plus negative 2 is 6, and then 6 plus 7 is 13. So that part comes out to be 13. Let me erase this so I have some room. All right, plus 13. And this would be our final answer. And that's a lot easier to look at than all of this stuff. That's all for now.